Kida of Iwala. Mm. All right. And finally, one of the fallouts of the 2023 general election is that it exposed the ugly side of some clergymen in Nigeria regarding prophecies. Prominent Christian clerics, including David Arao, Ibrahim, and Apostle Efa Emmanuel, have called on Christian Association of Nigeria and other religious bodies to play greater roles in regulating churches and ensuring the accuracy and consistency of prophecies. At the Global Leadership Conference held at the National Economic Center in Abuja, they emphasized the importance of pastoral education, mentorship, and theological institution in addressing social issues and promoting unity among churches. Let's hear from them. I watch His Excellency, the President-elect, how he was abused. I don't care what you think about him. As soon as he was elected, people are start going, Your Excellency. Whether you like it or you don't like it, Your Excellency. On the 29th, they will swear him in. Those who are giving prophecy of perdition, you are wasting your time. I'm warning you. Yeah. You have made mistake in prophecy. Don't make another one. Keep quiet and humble yourself. Respect yourself. Don't make the name of the Lord to be blasphemed. This is what you did to Buario. Eight years has finished now. He will soon hand over. You are the one making, 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 making this thing last the way you are doing. You, know? you don't they talk again. You, know? you they talk. You fail one prophecy. You don't go to part two again now. You won't destroy your image. <laughs> if I were any man of God in Nigeria, at the way Nigeria is going, keep quiet. There are certain prophecies you should not prophesy. Just say everything will leave you to God. Our God wants to drive Nigeria. It's in the hands of God. You have to, I've told you that it's a mystery. Keep quiet. If you continue to carry your emotions and feelings, enter this. You will destroy yourself. Even these politicians that you are fighting, they will soon meet in Dubai, London, Paris. They will say to you, you will be fighting. God is performing his spirit to surgical operation. And God is not true. But one thing I can tell you that this operation is 75 75 percent almost concluded and there's nothing any of you should have fear about we've we've crossed one of the most dangerous path that i as a prophet was afraid of so if anybody tell you that war is coming that person is blind no war is coming There's no war coming. Amen. Like I said when I'm preaching, I'm begging my pastors and colleagues, let's not bring more embarrassment to the name of Christ. Just keep quiet and leave God to finish what he's doing in, with Nigeria. Don't let flesh move you. We may 29 come, yes. We will cross May 29, yes. Will things go back to normal? Yes. Is there going to be other drama? Yes. What kind of drama? I can't tell you. But is there a great future? Yes. And this is my advice. And I will speak in parable and I will use the scripture. Leah was hated so much. Because of the hatred she suffered, God continued to open her womb. And God shut the womb of Rachel. I told you in the crossover, I said the most hated candidate is going to receive the favor. Hear me. If your hatred continues, what you are afraid of to see, you will see it smoothly running your lifetime. God doesn't give any woman being that power to hate a creation he has created. You pray and leave judgment in the hands of God. You are not God. 
Let the law court do what they need to do. You are not the law court. Once you move and take it personal, you confer favor on that person more. Prophet, what are you seeing? I'm not seeing anything. May 29 will come. The candidate there will be sworn in. He will become your president. And he will sit there. And he will bring a transformation that you have not seen. The first section will be tough, but after everything, things will go smoothly. The most, hear me, the most hated candidate that you have hated will do wonders in your life and in your eyes, and you will be shocked. The one you think will not perform, that you have hated, that you have abused, you will use your mouth to say, it will be tough. You will see drastic change to bring little action. But to smoothly somersault, you will use your mouth to say it. Hmm. The most hated, the most hated <laughs> will be the anointed one, will be the one that will lead the election. That's <laughs> Joshua Egila saying it on the 31st of December. On the 31st of December, why preaching now? The most hated. And yes. Then some uh, uh, days to the uh, inauguration. Inauguration. He repeated. He repeated it. Reminded them. So the most hated. If you remember, Baba we no get hand and the shake. And the shake. Leg, leg, leg the shake. Baba we, we no get hand. He they shout every Baba we know well. We Baba we know well. He they shout every no. Very popular song. Yes. Where are we now? How is the market? Breakfast. <laughs> but you know the man. You should see this man. We, we have all kinds of uh, <laughs> clergymen. Mm. But in a season mm. when we are seeing a lot of fake prophets, mm. fake prophecies, mm. Iginla stands out mm. like a giant in a room full of dwarfs. Iginla. He stands out mm. by, saying, it, it, by saying, look, do not call for the destruction of God's creation. Mm. God does not like it. Mm. You may hate a person, but leave it to God mm. to deal with that person. When you are calling for someone's death, you know there was a video we looked yes, at there. That we are somebody was someone calling for death. death. The death of black Because country. you don't like the person. Because and, you don't like that when you go to that extent, yes. mm. God will confer favor mm. on that person that you want dead. How far um, he said, uh, he said, will May 29 come? Yes, it will come because many people thought that, oh, soldiers will take over. Oh, uh, no, the military, some people said ISIS military, that they are coming to arrest. Yeah, and they, 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 even put, claim, yes. they even claim that uh, the, some lawyers, the, yes. foreign lawyers, the, that they come, come and arrest an individual and put handcuffs in his hand. And 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 everything. That one is in Kirikiri now. Now, so, is, you know, you don't forget, you still look at him. <laughs> that was the, the most ridiculous of mm, all, mm. was what he did. Mm. He said that they will first give it to the man. Mm. Often dressed in black, mm. and after giving that one, that one will now pass it. Mm. So the presidency of Nigeria has become mm. a, a relay baton. Confusing Nigerians. A relay baton that moves yes. from one person mm. to another. Mm. Are, are we? Uh, is it Kaluis <laughs> that uh, we are talking about here? Four by four. Yeah. <laughs> uh, <always> Hundred <laughs> meters. Uh, you know, so all kinds of funny things. Mm. And Nigerians were troubled. They were thinking, yes, people were asked, are you still sure that this will you, happen? People, they, people, they, people they, they, were alone. they were hanging on it. Yeah, because they believed. They Waiting for May 29th. Me too, I was at the Eagle Square. That day, it started raining around 5 o'clock. I was saying, hey. Now, will, they, will this still happen? Hmm. What will happen today? You I wasn't know? sure. Ah. <laughs> because, you see, you, you will not know. Uh, 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 you will not know uh, uh, what God will do. So you cannot even know at that point whether this people had from God or not. You are just waiting to see what God will do. And at the end of the day, what God did not see, do anything. <laughs> at the end of the day, it has taken this pastor, mm. Iginla, mm. many people, when they listen to the prophecies of others and they put them side by side, they will be able to judge who indeed had from God. Mm. Because he said things will be difficult in the beginning. Yes, yes. That the same person that you said will not perform. Because mm. of that, you hated him. Mm. You didn't vote for him. Mm. He will shut you up. 
and you, you with your own mouth, like, you will praise him. People it's are already happening. They are crossing over now. People are saying, no. ah, they are even saying, some are saying they regretted not voting for him. Yeah, yeah. So yeah. the man, in fact, this is the definition of accurate prediction. Going back to review what you predict and saying you stand by it and still reminding them that, look, as I told you, this is what will happen. And we are seeing it. And some of you, you said you stopped watching this program because we predicted that so, 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 so will happen and an individual will enter and everything. But that is, that is what is happening next. Today we have more viewers. Well, of course, of course. Not, it has not removed anything <laughs> from of finding, our revenue. <laughs> of finding prophecy. There are a lot of people, <laughs> there are a lot of people saying so many things in the name of God. But the question is, did they, they really know God? Because um, you, cannot, you, cannot, you cannot wish evil the creation of God, just because the person is doing what he wants to do. And because of that, destiny. yes, and you're not hating so much as to wish him a win. You cannot, you, can, you cannot justify that. And the problem so that I have, is to that the problem is that a lot of men of God, a lot of men of God are trying to ridicule the body of Christ. They have sheepish followers. But why they are ridiculing the body of Christ mm. is that when you sit on a temple of grace, mm. You are expected to be special. You are not an ordinary person mm. because you have the you have the, the privilege carry you. you have the Your privilege of sitting on the throne mm. of grace. And when you are when you are God. there, you have to be careful what you say, because a lot of people religion is so powerful that even a very brilliant mind will not will do some some ridiculous things when it comes to religion. Yes. And why that is is because they believe that. Oh, it is God. Mm. That is why they listen to these men of God. Okay. They will say, oh, it is God. Okay. And when God says something, who am I to, to say things contrary to and what God has said? We know but you see, that's the problem. Because God, is God, not, said God didn't say anything to these people. Uh -huh. I've said that a lot of these men of God, they are just... Oh, the one that saw, the one that had the um, um, name of uh, no, an apostle. All of them. Let me tell you something. Let me tell you something. Let me tell you something. God did not tell you. The problem is that they have their own preferences. Yes. And they now their well, emotions were their own, uh, their own emotions, and they say that is what God said. God didn't say anything to this. That people. Peter is afraid. These people do not yes, even. Peter. If, you, if you look at them, if you look at their ways of life, if you look at what they base their preachers on, they don't know God. They don't know God. They don't. They're just playing on the oh, psyche of God. people. They don't know God. And there's when no you look at all these people, why are we not even talking about what was suggested? Yes. Because the I, agree, of, I, I agree that it should be regulated. You know why? Level of you know why? There is one. You know, at a time, you know, at a time, one of the one of the popular things was all these um, they call it revivals that they show on television, and somebody yes. will say, uh, "Healing, I'll be healing." Yes, yes, yes do yes, that. Yes, yes. I know it was banned MBC at the time. It MBC has to. Yes, yes. they started yes. in South Africa. Yes. Then they moved to Nigeria. They took that because they realized that they were being that organized. They were, they were calling people, praying on their intelligence. Because when you go to when you go to a crusade and you say, oh, you bring somebody from the dead or you hopefully, there, and you discover that you are lying, it's they do that. It's so how can you not just decide? What can, what can can do? Because for me, this one, the yes, reform. for me, that is. No, can, yes, can, 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 what can, is can do much. You know why can't? Somebody because can people, does not have. Mm. Somebody gather people in uh, Ekiti. Mm. And he collected money. He called the help. money is uh, he called the money that he was collecting as ticket to to, to heaven. heaven. To heaven. He gathered people, mm. sheepish people. Some people called their family from people. abroad. I, I mean, they I came. Don't know how, what, look at look at what has happened in in, uh, in uh, South Africa, yeah. in, in Kenya, Kenya. In Kenya. The people the fasted you know in Kenya. The fasted they fasted to death in death. Kenya. Meanwhile, the person who got them to fast, fast to death refused <laughs> to fast to death. <laughs> yeah. maybe, maybe he was even eating chicken and everything <laughs> while, while people were dying. They fasted to death. So the regulation. I remember interviewing one of the, the biggest pastors in this country sometime last year, and he too said, look, that there ought to be some level of regulation. Yes. Because all of the people calling themselves men of God, they are not, they are not even, a, they are not, they are, they are not close to being men of God. A particular this ticket was described as uh, Pablo Escobar. And on that, that ticket, say the second in command is Osama bin Laden. And somebody stood in front of the, the pulpit. Thousands of Christians. Calling, okay, 
No, it has to do because you see it's his his party. opinion. It's his opinion. It's his Pablo emotion. Escobar. That is what uh, Igila said. Igila has responded to Be, them. Just um, the hatred because of this hatred. Uh, what's his name? Um, Mbaka too has mm -hmm. responded. He said you you desecrated the sacrament mm -hmm. by your lousy predictions. You know. At the end of the day, you are all put to shame. They should be able to Breakfast. talk to them. They should be able to talk to them. <laughs> but can't 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 do do that. Why can't, can't do that? Because can't does not have the time okay. to do that. You know, we have a great <laughs> government that can do that. We have a great Joining us very soon. Joining us for more insight on this issue. I'm not talking about it. Is it's the it. prophet of the Cathedral Church of Christ. Kaide Fadikwe Adeolu. Thank you for joining us. Prophet. Uh, good afternoon. Good, Good afternoon, afternoon my, my brother. Man. Can anything? I'm the producer. Good afternoon. I want to let's start uh, the Baba program. Jideo, Good afternoon. Thank you, sir. Ozubaku. Good afternoon. Yes, sir. Uh, God Can... bless you. Okay. Uh, God bless Nigeria. Because we don't have so much time, let's let's start it this way. Yeah. Okay. Is it possible for God to speak through a prophet? And the prophecy would not come to pass. Is it? Is it the character of God? Um, thank you very much for this brilliant question. Uh, with the grace of God and the anointed of God upon me, as a prophet, when God speaks to you from the above, from the spiritual realm. He spoke to you truly, and it will come to pass. Mm. Because the Holy Spirit of God does not lie. But the but in it now is, there is a lot of fake man of God who call themselves man of God, who ordain themselves man of God. And wish they don't have the true calling. But people worship them mostly because of their wealth. And you remember that the word of God has said it that anybody that I did not call, he will not speak from the throne of the Holy Spirit. And many people call themselves the man of God, or many people, so many people are following in, in, in the society, in the country, in the world. They are not ordained by the Spirit of God. People, most people worship them because of their money. And you remember the word of God has said it, that not all people call me God, God, we see the the kingdom of God. The truth of it is, when God says yes, nobody can say no. When God ordained and speak, it came to pass. If anybody said God speak, speak to him or spoke to him from the Holy Spirit of God, and he said, rain will fall, even in the dry season, the rain will fall. Mm. Yes. But if God, if God does not speak to you, even in the rainy season, and you believe because it's the rainy season, and you speak that God speak to you, that rain will fall in the rain. That rain is that time of that time you said it will not work. The rain will not fall. You know, many of them are just using their one, they are using their brain to cajole a lot of people. <laughs> then um, many of them went to this uh, sociology. Then many of them go to this uh, Bible school. I, I, sometimes I even find where Jesus, the school that Jesus went to before he has this knowledge and the Holy Spirit. I have not even seen the the certificate that uh, John the Baptist has. I do not even see the 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 certificate or the 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 the, the um 
the, the full qualification that uh, Joseph has before becoming prime minister. But by the Holy Spirit, he was lead, and he, 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 he can be able, he can, he be able to conquer every problem, every difficulties in his present. Prophet, uh, and become a prime minister. Let me ask you, sir. Okay. During the electoral, uh, the electioneering season, there were so many predictions. Yeah. And a lot of them were going the same way. Yeah. Are you saying that those people who are motivated, those uh, uh, men of God, were, were moved by their own personal um, opinions or that they had from God, but maybe God changed his mind? Okay, it changed his mind. Last or really, what, what, what happened? How come so many of them were making this so uh, the prediction? Same prediction about a particular candidate, that that candidate will win. Uh, thank you very much. Thank you very much. This is a very beautiful and brilliant question. You see, many of them are not closer to God. If they are, if they, clo they are closer to God, all the prediction they give before the election and after the election and presently will come to pass. It is their own mind. They spoke by their own mind. If truly God spoke to them, all what they predict will come to pass. I could remember my shepherd called me. My shepherd called me. He put me into spirit because we believe on the Holy Spirit in the celestial church of Christ. He said, Prophet Kenji, please, I want you to prophesy who is going to win this election. I told him God has not spoke to me. I said, God has not spoke to me. So many people called me. They said, ah, Prof, Prof, JP, what can you talk about this, our election? I told them that God will ordain a good person, a president that will rule this country successfully. God will ordain it. So let's let that for God. Let's pray for the country. We pray before the election. We pray 12 o'clock in my parish, in my cathedral. We pray 12 o'clock for one hour that God keep this country peace. Before the election, keep this country peace after the election. Then Give God this country peace after the announcement of the presidential candidate that won. And we can say we have peace now, as God has it. You see, so called all these men of God, they, they believe of collecting money from the person that comes to them. And they want to prophesy on the belief of what that person wants to hear. That is my own uh, opinion. That is my own opinion. Is it possible to regulate can? Is, can can, can is regulate? The Christian people Christian are saying that Christian association should regulate uh, pastors. Mm, can cannot regulate. Mm. Can cannot regulate because God knows his people. And we cannot condemn them. We only advise them to go more closer to God. Because there is no condemnation in the body of Christ. That's my advice. Can cannot regulate. Okay. But God will expose them. He will expose them by their doings, by their ways. And that's what God is exactly that is what God is doing now. So it's already, God is already yes, exposing, exposing them. them. Yes, yes. Exposing them. Mm. It's not, you see, one thing I want you to know, that God with his mercy, with his power, is enough for them for, to expose them. I want to, I want to, I will not call the pastor's name. He's a very big pastor in this country. He told his friend, 
the wife of the family, the family and his friend, he was, the family was very, very sick. He said the man will not die if the man can pay a substantial amount of tithes. They paid out tithes. They paid the tithes. A week after the man died, a popular pastor, I will not call his name. I don't need to call his name. He, the man died, and the, the wife goes to the pastor and says, ah, man of God, this is what you told me, and my husband died with all your poverty. What you told me. And you imagine in the quality of that kind of a pastor who, who know the Bible too well. The man died. I want to, I want to thank you. The, 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 the woman refused of the woman refused of going to, to that church anymore. <laughs> Prophet Kendi, I want to thank you for your contribution. Thank you, thank you so much for your contribution. Um, back to the studio now. When one of those people uh, he said uh, persecution will come because of this prof uh, prophecy that he discovered uh, that he, he prophesied that persecution will come oh, two weeks fake, after. Fake prophecy. Yes, Your, his church member, a pastor in his church was the one that went to Lagos Office of Public Defender that alleged the pastor is not um, another person, no, mm -hmm. alleged rape, and the man is still in Kirikiri till now, Jide. This is That is what you are saying. People cannot even resist temptation. Mm. You know, you can't see a woman dressed in mini skirt and take your eyes away. Your pastor. Your, you know, your pastor. You can't church. resist it. And then you are calling yourself someone that God speaks to. You are calling yourself a prophet. You are deceiving yourself. Get closer to God. That was the advice that I received yes. from what yes. 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 If yes. you if you stand in front of a big congregation and you say, God said this, mm. and it doesn't come to pass, God, I, God has disowned you ah. before your people. No, absolutely. To go to God that church disowned the you. next Sunday, if my own pastor is like that, ah. the, to go the, to that church this Sunday, I put my anointing uh, my head. Right? The biggest church in Nigeria right now, the biggest church in Nigeria right now, ah. is the Redeemed Christian Church. Mm. The head of the Christian church did not predict anything. No, yes. it's just said it's Kumo, God has not Kumo, That's what I'm Kumo. saying. Kumoyi of deeper life is one of the most respected men of God. He did not predict the winner. Mm. The problem with most of these new generation pastors is that they are motivational speakers. Mm. They are not. They are not very. They are not in the spirit. They are not very developed in the spirit. Mm. They went to Bible school. Yes, they know they the are, Bible. They know grammar. They, they, they understand the word. They, they are motivational speakers. And they can say sweet things for you to be, you know, to be excited about them. But they are not, they are not men of God. They, don't, they, don't, they didn't hear anything from God. They were just, they were just espousing their own just their personal opinion. beliefs and just emotions. And they, that's it. and they are ridiculing the body of Christ. Because yeah. when you say, so says the, the Lord of hosts, it must come to pass. Uh, uh, that is how it is. Yeah, yo, how, many, how many Muslim clerics came out openly to predict? Because they are better. When it comes to, when it comes to you know, getting, are when, when you are following the tenets, tenets of religion, uh -huh. Islam is slightly better because they don't do some things. Because Islam, Islam is a very strict religion. So it doesn't allow, it doesn't give room for some of those things. You understand? So you cannot come and, and say... And then the proliferation is, of... Yeah, um, uh, the proliferation of worship places. Mm. Yes, part of Islam it. with Islam is not it's that. It's not like that. It's not easy. It's not that easy because you must have attained certain height for people to, to de agree to, to file behind you and pray. You but as a that, man of God, you can, go, them. you can yeah, go on yeah. your own. Because we leave this place now, they will say, oh, no, 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 their, their emotions ran wild mm. and got the better of them. Mm. And then they, 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 they pandered to their emotions mm. and spoke from their own inner recesses. Your responsibility is to be and winning souls. And now it look like to God, a, to the kingdom like of God. God has spoken Win so. God didn't speak. Leave God. APC and PDP alone. God is not a man that he should lie. Mm. That's what the scripture mm. says. Yes. Yeah. God is not a man that, that he should lie. No, we will not lie. So we will not lie. Those, the preponderance of those traditions 
indicate clearly that these people didn't hear from God. Hmm. Of course, they, they didn't were hear from God, God. And, we, and it is in their best interest to turn a new leaf. Mm. Get closer to God. Unless Forget you everything breakfast. you have. Mm. Forget breakfast. everything you have. Breakfast. But they are still deceiving. Breakfast food. But they are still de food. deceiving mm. their followers. Mm. Breakfast served cold. Cold. Uh, full of bones. Really cold in public. So it is not uh, because breakfast is different from breakfast. Mm. When you are served breakfast full of bones, mm. you know that <laughs> not a good uh, breakfast. <laughs> Thank you for this edition. Thank you. It's so good to be back. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you for the <laughs> study journalism. Good to be back from Abuja. In fact, it shows it shows that you are back from Abuja. We are here. We are here. <laughs> Don't forget Maybe to tell them. Tell them. He them. He has friends among them. He has friends among them. Yes. If Johnny wants to run, you know you. I'm a church boy. <laughs> and that's our package of journalist Sangha today. Join us tomorrow for another episode of the program by 5 p.m. You can watch the repeat broadcast of this edition tonight by 11.30. 11.30 p.m. Watch the repeat episode. We're on YouTube, youtube.com slash TVC News Nigeria. I'm Ayodili Uzubahun. See you tomorrow and God bless Nigeria.